Hey, so every year kids and animals, they die in hot, hot cars. We know it gets so hot here in the valley. Temperatures inside a car, they can easily and quickly become life threatening even when it's not summer. Our meteorologist Crystal Long explains why it gets so much hotter inside your car and what you can do to keep your family safe. The only parked car that's safe to be in is a virtual one. So I'll stay locked in here to explain how if this were real, it would be a death trap. Your car has its own greenhouse effect going on. The sun emits visible light in the form of short wavelengths. These go through the glass and get absorbed by your car's interior, heating it all up, which then warms the air in the car. Now your car's interior emits long wave radiation. These wavelengths cannot pass through windows, so it gets trapped inside and accelerates the warming. Take a sunny 85 degree day, for example. In just 15 minutes, the inside of your car can reach over 100 degrees. And in a total of 30 minutes, it's nearly 120 degrees inside. Now, if it's 100 degrees outside, which is typical Phoenix, it'll reach nearly 120 degrees in this car in half the time. But it doesn't have to get as hot as you may think outside for it to be life-threatening in here. Most child hot car deaths happen at temperatures below 100 degrees. Say you escape the Phoenix heat and take the family on a road trip to the cool pines of Flagstaff. Even Flagstaff at a beautiful 66 degrees, let's say, windows up, car parked outside in the sun, in just a half hour, it's 100 degrees inside. Never leave a child or animal in a parked car, not even for a minute. Open the back door every time you park or put something you need back there to remind you to double check. Keep your car locked, even if it's in the garage. Kids can get themselves locked in, but may not be able to get back out. Teach them to honk the horn if they get stuck inside. If you're out and you see a child or an animal in a locked parked car, don't wait. Immediately call 911 and they'll give you instructions. If the child or animal seems unresponsive, get them out by any means possible. These are just some things you can do to help prevent hot car deaths. Remember to look before you lock.